Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Edge Finder. Happy birthday to you. NFP just happened and it gave us some shocking results. The jobs numbers came out this morning and they were a little better than expected. Originally forecasted to come out around 228,000, but instead we got 236,000. This was just enough to cause a surprising shift in the unemployment rate that was originally forecasted to remain unchanged at 3.6%, but instead we saw the unemployment rate fall down to 3.5%. This comes after last month's surprising jump when the unemployment rate rose from 3.4% up to 3.6%. This news caused a massive spike to the upside on the dollar, which you could have watched live with us during the event. We live stream each morning during news events, giving analysis and instant reactions to everything happening in the market. So be sure to join us all next week, Monday through Friday. All right, everybody. So we had some surprising NFP results today. Was not expecting the unemployment rate to drop the way it did down to 3.5%. But good news for the dollar bulls that are long on the dollar at the moment because that caused the dollar to absolutely have a massive spike to the upside. But uh, we're here in the market heat map. We're going to take a look at our top trending movers of the day, both to the upside and the downside. So we're looking at uh, our movers to the upside first up here in the top left. This is our biggest mover to the upside so far today, and it's NZD JPY up 0.5% on the day so far followed by Aussie JPY, USD JPY, NZD CHF, NZD CAD, and Aussie CHF. Those six assets are our top six movers to the upside so far today. And if we take a look down here towards the bottom, the bottom right is our biggest mover to the downside so far. And it's GBP NZD down 0.35%, followed by Euro NZD, GBP AUD, GBP USD, Euro USD, and Euro AUD. Those six are are our biggest movers to the downside so far today. Of course, the market heat map is getting updated every 15 minutes. So as the market is moving, so is the market heat map, keeping you super up to date with how all of the assets listed in the edge finder are trending. We can also look at our US indices really quickly. Uh, and it looks like they're all pretty much up on the day. US 30 is is pretty neutral. It's technically, technically up 0.01% on the day, but we're just going to call that neutral. It's totally moving sideways, but we can take a look at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 here. NASDAQ 100 up a very solid 0.76% on the day. The S&P 500 up 0.36% on the day. So both of them trending pretty nicely off of that NFP news, which which is not surprising. NFP came in lower than expected, meaning that more jobs were created and that's good for the economy. So here we are in the watch list. These are our uh, buy and sell biases that we have so far today. We had kind of a quiet week without a lot of strong buys and strong sells. And we still don't have a ton, but we do have two strong buys and two strong sells at the moment. So that's nice to see. I'm gonna remove any indices or commodities that we might have just indices at the moment. There we go, shortens up our list just a bit. We only had indices listed, no commodities in the buy or sell category today. But yeah, so we have a total of five buys and a pretty nice list of sells here. Two strong buys and two strong sells. And I already know what I wanna look at with NFP happening today and a new unemployment rate. I definitely want to take a look at a US dollar cross. And we have one, let's see, well, we technically have two US dollar crosses to take a look at. We have AUD USD and we have USD ZAR, but only one of them is a strong sell bias. And that is AUD USD, which was a strong sell bias for a couple of weeks. It fell off this week, but we are back in business as a strong sell. So let's check it out, figure out why that is and get an update on that uh, unemployment number, which we can see right over here. 3.5% new unemployment number. Very good. All right. AUD USD strong sell bias score of minus six. COT data is a score of minus two in the retail sentiment, a score of minus one. Let's take a look at those numbers right over here. So COT data or institutional trader data, these uh, institutional traders, smart money traders, they are favored long on the US dollar, 67.48% and favored short on the Australian dollar. 
64.37%. Retail traders, on the other hand, are 75% long and 25% short on this pair as a whole. So retail traders or day traders are very favored long on AUD USD, whereas institutional traders are buying the dollar and selling the Australian dollar. Seasonality is a score of plus one. And we can see here that in the month of April, this is actually kind of surprising. In the month of April, historically speaking, if you were to isolate only the month of April over the last 10 years and looked at how AUD USD was trending, you would notice that historically speaking, it does trend rather bullishly, which is, I, I just think this is really surprising that every other month is bearish, which seems like AUD USD would just do nothing but trend negatively trend downwards but that's a that's that's kind of interesting right there our trend reading score at the moment is a score of minus one and like i mentioned before uh, aud usd was a strong uh sell bias for a while it was like two weeks or so that it was hovering around that strong sell bias in fact we can take a look at it in the historical back test just for fun just for fun, if we take a look at AUD USD, we can see all the way back to the beginning of the year, essentially January 11th. And this red line here is the actual price chart. So we have market open and market close, but this red line here is really what we're taking a look at when we see how price was trending throughout the day. And so we can see with AUD USD, if you hover over each of these bars here, you can see what the edge finder scored it. So it first became a strong sell bias on February 4th. And it basically hovered all of these big, long red bars here are strong sell biases. We can see that it hovered for over a month, strong sell bias as it just continued to move lower and lower and lower and lower. And then finally, cut off the strong sell bias uh, about a week ago. And well, actually it came back to a strong sell bias for a little bit here too. But as of late, over the past couple of days, not so much, but we have seen it ever since uh, April 4th, we have seen price just absolutely plummet. It was a little bit sideways here, a little bit of consolidation, and then it shot up and has absolutely come all the way back down since then. So AUD USD, we can see here in the trend projection, where that's exactly what we're looking at here. Price shot up and it has come all the way back down since then, totally selling off. Price forecast believes that it's going to bring Break through this level of support right here and continue to move downwards. We will keep an eye out and see if that is in fact what happens. But let's wrap up with our fundamentals here. GDP growth, inflation, and interest rates, all scores of minus one. Unemployment is now a score of zero or a neutral score because again, we had NFP today with updated unemployment and uh, unemployment is now 3.5%. So equal with Australia's, but we can take a look at the rest of those numbers right here. So Australian GDP growth, 0.5% compared to 2.6% in the US. Uh, Australian inflation, 7.8% compared to 6%. Uh, Australia's unemployment and US unemployment, of course, 3.5%. And lastly, interest rates on the Australian dollar are 3.6% compared to 5% here in the US. So there we go. There's your quick breakdown of AUD USD. And I'm going to remind you one more time that if you want the edge finder for 40% off access to all the information that we just took a look at and so much more, I mean, look at all of these tabs that we didn't click on. I mean, there's so much useful information to help you with your trading and find better trading entries here inside the software. If you want it for 40% off, you can do it right now for a very limited time only when you use promo code A1YT. So go down to the links in the description below, use promo code YT to get it for the best price of the entire year for a limited time. Guys, we've got about 20 seconds. Let me be quick here. Uh, to take a look at some, uh, to pull up some other charts, to watch the reaction. Really, despite uh, anything else, today will be interesting because we're going to watch for volatility on things like the euro. We've also got the pound to pay attention to. These are other assets I wanted to look at anyways, but I do apologize for looking at gold and it wasn't even moving for a minute. I feel a little bit dumb in front of a thousand people. Let's see what the volatility has for us today. Wow, there goes the S&P 500. Um, and okay, then it comes right back. The jobs numbers just came out, guys. Pound USD, look at that. Pound USD, Euro dollar selling off and dollar strength coming in today. That can mean only, well, possibly one thing. 
Did jobs numbers just come out stronger than expected? Let's go take a look. Let's take a look. Jobs numbers are now dropping. We should be getting them in just a moment. There it is, 236K jobs, slightly beating there, but unemployment rate, 3.5%. Less than expected here this morning, guys. Unemployment down, jobs about even. Wait a second here. Unemployment lower than expected. Okay. Why is that bullish for the dollar? Well, the market doesn't seem to think so. This is kind of interesting. The S&P 500 just rallied through that. Um, let's interpret this really quick. What did this just tell us about the market? 3.5% better than expected. That is, again, USD bullish. However, jobs numbers came out about as expected. Uh, this is about neutral for USD. So some slight bullishness coming in for the US dollar here. And again, when I say slight, I do mean slight. Look what happened with the euro just now, guys. Let's go full screen here. And we're going to pull up euro USD. We're not going to pull up gold because, again, I don't want to look like a fool again on it. live in front of just a casual 1,000 people. By the way, everybody, thank you for being here. Make sure to hit the like button if you're enjoying the stream. And if you uh, will please forgive me for looking at gold for like two solid minutes and it didn't move a single pip. Uh, I apologize for that again. Um, the dollar came out actually stronger than expected, but gave back those gains very quick, especially against the euro and the pound. So look at this dollar shot to the upside here on the release, but did not hold its gains at least so far. Now, again, it's early in the spike. We haven't seen the full volatility, but jobs numbers came out. Unemployment came out 3.5%, which was less than the expected 3.6%. So stronger in that regards. That actually, this kind of makes sense in a way. Because the dollar, of course, rallied on that in some ways because the Federal Reserve might have a little bit of room to raise rates kind of thing, be a little bit more hawkish, sure. But this also in some ways makes sense, actually a lot of sense, that the S&P 500 would rally on this. Why? Because again, job market seems a little bit stronger than expected. The Federal Reserve still seems like they want to sort of cut rates by summer. Yet this actually shows some strength for possibly the uh, the economy, the, the markets. I actually, this, this might be really S&P bullish, guys. In fact, I need to check something. I'm being selfish right now, but let me go look at the S&P, right? I, I've been wanting to get long. With this number coming out here today, what we're going to see is we are going to see the way this the, the uh, S&P gets calculated on the edge finder when unemployment comes out better than expected, healthier than expected, it is uh, viewed as a bullish catalyst in most market scenarios. Of course, it's a little bit unique with recently with the Federal Reserve being so keeping their eye so close on it. But this might actually push the S&P into bullish territory once this data updates. Don't forget to check out the links in the description if you want our broker recommendation, access to our free Discord, free Edge Finder, or want to chat with us on Telegram. Remember, you can watch us live in the markets every morning starting at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and we have lots more free trading tools and content available on our website, a1trading.com. Thanks for watching.